My name is Kathleen Dougal Goodman. I've been a yoga teacher for over 32 years, and I've been watching the health of your feet for a long time. It's very important for your feet to be balanced and stretched. When we wear shoes, or when we wear high heels, our feet get stressed, and this wonderful can-do slant board for your feet is excellent for helping you restore the balance in your feet and get your feet really working very well. I've seen the slant board affect people's plantar fasciitis very quickly and very well and get them back to normal. And I've also seen it open up the Achilles tendon and the calf muscles. As you can imagine, the calf muscles are a very strong, thick group of muscles on the back of the shin and there's a very thin muscle called the tibialis anterior on the front of the leg, on the lower leg, and the, the back muscles are way too strong and often get way too short because people don't really know how to stretch the lower leg that well. This particular device is marvelous for that. It stretches the calf, it stretches the Achilles tendon, that's a very important aspect when you're doing something like stretching the feet. The feet are a very important part of the body to have healthy and balanced right because, of course, everything is on the feet. So whenever you use a device to help yourself, you want to make sure that you're setting it up right and you're setting it up the way that it's been designed to be used. You need to align this slant board about an inch from the wall and have the edge of it parallel to the wall, not a little bit skewed. Because remember, you're putting all your weight on your feet and you don't want them to stretch in an, a misaligned way because you're affecting change, great change in your feet and that's gonna affect your whole body. So you want them, the alignment from the wall to be about an inch from the wall straight across and then when you set up the various levels that the slant can be, it's got four different positions, and it's made so that there's a, a slot that the top of it hooks through. You just wanna make sure that you have slotted that in so it is definitely in the way it's designed to be. So it's easy to do, you just wanna check it. When you step up on it, make sure your feet are lined up uh, evenly, so your toes are even, and then make sure you're also even from the center. So if your feet are a little bit wide, they're the same distance from the center of the surface of the slant board. And then just push into your ball of your foot and get a good footing there and pull your heel back and down. Don't worry if your heel doesn't touch the surface because it probably won't at first. That's why you bought the device so that you could stretch yourself out because you're tight. So over time you'll notice that your legs and your feet just get more comfortable as you're stretching out and a couple minutes early day and late day and you are great after a while after you get in the habit of it. Then see if your heels come down. If they do you could maybe use it for two weeks or so at that level and really stretch out your tissues and undo all the gluing of all your cells together. And then once you've gotten it quite open, you can graduate to the next level and then work from there. One of the things I love about the slant board also that just makes it really easy to use is that it's really easy to carry. I carry it to class with me often. When I need an extra slant board at class, I know I'm having a big class and I take a few extras in. You can put it in your car, you can take it to your gym if you're working out. You, you can carry it in. It's not heavy at all. It's got a, a slot for your hand to catch it really well and it's just a really good product. So I live a life devoted to bodies working really, really well. If you want some more information, you have a question you'd like to ask me and you'd want a, a direct answer from me, you can visit my blog on busywomanyoga.com. And if you're looking for a teacher in your state or in your area, you can go to 
naus.org. Look on your state and find a teacher.